Um, anyway, we, we saw hard repression against this uprising, and dictators never learn, you know. Repression, with repression you can manage to clear the streets for a while, but you can never manage to clear the minds of people. And I'm quite sure that this uprising is not over, and it, it will continue, indeed because of the basic reasons why it emerged in the first place, um, are still there. Um, as I said in the plenary last month, um, young people took action for freedom, and their blood flowed in the streets, and we need international action to help those still in prison, the detainees. Already 12 of them, let's not forget, 12 of them already died under torture, and senior government uh, officials are talking about executions. So our, our attention in the first place should be uh, for them. And apart from protesters um, that the regime is repressing and may begin to execute, the government continues with executions of non-political prisoners as before. Several young prisoners who were arrested when they were 15 years old, 17 years old, were executed last week after spending years in jail. And may I ask your attention for one particular um, man, a, a doctor, a medical doctor, Iranian Swedish doctor, who we know in our country as well because he um, was, was a professor at our university in Brussels, a visiting professor there, uh, Ahmad uh, Reza Jalali, uh, was arrested while visiting his homeland in April uh, 2016. He was convicted so-called spying uh, and the regime wants to execute him. Uh, this um, personal story has shocked the, per the public opinion in my country. It has confronted the pu public opinion, not only the academic world, but also the public opinion with this brutal regime. Um, and I, I, want, I want, want to focus the attention uh, on, on, on him. Uh, it is very clear this is an anti-human regime uh, with no respect for human rights, uh, whatsoever, no difference indeed between the so-called moderates uh, and, and hardliners. Uh, the young people who protested in the recent uprising have rejected both factions and called for the downfall of the regime in its entirety. And we should respect their views and should support them in these hard times. That is why I'm happy uh, uh, that our meeting today will be seen as an expression of support and solidarity for the Iranian people uh, who want a regime change and nothing less. Thank you.